now we're going to go about talking about custom waveforms. This, uh, something I actually recently just discovered for researching this course, is actually super awesome. It takes three oscillator and gives it a lot less of a cheesier sound. I'll give it a little bit more uh, professional sound. This, what this allows you to do is it allows you to drag in your own personal waveforms, uh, custom ones. You select the option and it'll use that just normally. So how exactly do you go about importing them? There's a couple ways. Uh, as you saw here, if I click this, you can go uh, go to your folder, drag in your waveform from there, wherever you have it saved. For me, I have a lot harder time sorting through these folders here. Uh, so for my just general messing around, I found that the FL Studio actually comes with a lot of custom-made waveforms to begin with. And actually, that's for a lot of the sounds in general, because when you're starting out, uh, it seems like you're like, ah, you know, FL stuff, beginner stuff, yeah, it's all right, but I feel like I need to go add third-party stuff. I've noticed after these couple of years, the more you go into the packs, they actually have some really good sounds in and of themselves. So if you just start with this, you're actually pretty good to go. But let me show you where you find the shapes. So if you go to your packs, ones that given you, go to your shapes, boom. This is everything you would ever need for your sound. So you can't really hear them too much. But let's say, okay, I'll give what, I wonder what overtone sounds like. Drag that in here. Okay, so we have overtone. I'm gonna set it to one and we'll just listen to this by itself. Now, if we hit a key, just play it. Oh, what is that? You got this other cool sound. That sound of greatness, kids. So that's one option. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I wanna try ramp saw. That sounds cool, right? Who can't use a good saw? So we use that. Ooh. Mess around with that. Maybe if you combine that with it. So that's what custom automation is. And, you know, uh, there's some of these other knobs. You start messing around with them. Let's say, okay, I like this, but I want to dip it down even lower. You can stretch the sample. And really mess around with that and really screw with the waveforms so it gives it a really interesting sound all the way. So that's custom waveforms. FL has a bunch you can grab from. Sure, you can download others. I'm not sure where you would find them. So that's just another option you can use to make your sounds even cooler in 3 Oscillator.